A summer that a journalist friend of mine, Charlie Tubbs, remembers only too well. So little to cover, that was the trouble. Odd days he'd pop down to Brooklands and report for racing. Hard to tell which was the loudest, the cars or the clothes. Then an election came up. Sounds dull, but this was an Irish one. But it wasn't that that Charlie remembers so well. Oh dear, no. He was down at Cowes, covering the big yachts, the Shamrock, the Endeavour, all very nice and quiet. Then it broke. Something had reared its ugly head. It's a wonderful story, Tubbs, the news editor said. I can't see it, Charlie said. You don't have to, the editor said. So Charlie did his best. That's no good, said the editor. Seen what the opposition's got? All right, so Charlie went and looked again. But he still couldn't see it. Harry on the Globe saw it every night, and he never left the bar. After that, Charlie recalls it died down, and he had other things to worry about. But no sooner was his back turned that... After that, he says sadly, it never looked back. When it got to that kind of level, well, that was the end for Charlie Tubbs. He had to go and take measures to protect himself. But you know what, he says? In the end, he saw it in a scotch mist. Remember this, health and beauty. That was the general title. Some women I knew went for years. They got healthy anyway, you can't have everything. Bring your leg over, Nelly. It certainly entailed doing all sorts of things that you wouldn't normally indulge in. But you know what women are once they get an idea into their heads? There's no stopping them. But elsewhere, becoming fit had other and more sinister meanings. In Hitler's new Germany, organization, preparation, the building up of a nation and its power, not just to stand on its own feet, but to stand too on the feet of others. At the time, many were impressed with it, but they didn't realize then where it was leading. Once again, in the long history of the world, agony for the Jews. Everywhere in the world, where there were large Jewish communities, there were demonstrations, protests, and nowhere where voices raised higher than in the United States. But alas, mere words don't overthrow a tyrant.
Yet in that same year that the tyrant had acquired power, another man had been given his opportunity, and he took it too with both hands. For Congress, it was bewildering the number of bills that FDR drove through in 1933. But they all had a point. NRA, WPA, TVA. To many millions, such mundane groups of letters came to spell hope. In vast new government schemes, the nation rolled up its sleeves and went back to work. It was indeed a new deal. Just around that time, deep in America, they were carving heads of United States presidents out of the side of a mountain. It wasn't a government scheme, just a private project. A gigantic memorial to the great. Washington, Lincoln. But looking back now, didn't they leave one out? Two men arrive, but how different. The year of the monster. Harry saw it every night, and he never left the bar. But there were those who insisted that there was a monster there, all right. Oh, yes, there was one there. If only people would wake up and look. And when you go fishing, I bet you keep wishing the fish will grab at your line. There's a bones open through the day. How is they to make a dime that way? Never make a dime that way. Now, look here. You better mind the words. 